Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Sublonian. This is a guide for elements in Windcraft. Let's go. First of all, I just want to say that this video does not explain how you should build your class. That will come in a later video going into detail with each of the classes. This video will give you the basics of elements, how you get your skill points, how to change your build with reset scrolls, and some general tips. Right now in your skill book, you have five things to choose from. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Defense, and Agility. Strength, which increases your neutral damage, gives you the Earth Element. Dexterity, which increases your chance to do a critical strike, gives you the Thunder Element. Intelligence, which increases your mana capacity, gives you the Water Element. And Defense, that increases your defense simply, gives you the Fire Element. Agility, which increases your chance to dodge an ability, gives you the air element. To access your skill points, you right-click the book in your hotbar. To upgrade a skill, you can either left-click to put in one point, or right-click to put in five or the remaining points. For example, if you only have three points left and you right-click strength, we'll put those three points into just strength. Each time you upgrade a skill, you get a percentage increase. Not 1% like before. It varies a lot now, the more points you have in a skill, the less you get with the next point put into that skill. The first point is 1% and it just goes down after that. For example, at skill level 50 you only get half a percent. You can get more points by leveling up, but there are some other ways that you can get them. By wearing identified armor you get plus or minus stats to your skills. For example, this chest plate gives me 4 defense points, which will increase my defense with 4 points when I'm wearing it. To reset your skills, you need to do the quest Tower of Amnesia. I happen to have a guide for that, which is still up to date, so I'm gonna leave that on screen for a couple seconds. A skill reset scroll costs 1 LE, so make sure you know beforehand what you want your build to be like. So now you know how to use your points, and how armor, accessories, and weapons affect your skill points. But where should you put them? Well, it's a very hard question to answer since it depends a lot on your playstyle and preferences. Also, some armor and weapons will require you to put on a certain amount of skill points in a certain skill to be able to wear it. For example, these boots. They require 20 skill points in strength. But we'll get into that later. Alright, enough talking about skill points. I think it's a time to explain the elements. Here you go. Earth is the brute element. You'll have high damage with your normal attacks, but your spells won't do as much damage. Your attacks will also be very slow, and you can count on that your walk speed will be decreased. So make sure that you buy a horse with a strong enough back to hold your heavy ass up. This element is kind of confusing. But uh, what we can say about it is that it either makes you hit and crit a lot, or makes you tanky and more towards the defensive type. One word, spells. Water is the reason people say that mages got a buff with gavel. This element makes your spell damage better and also increases the rate at which you regenerate mana. But your neutral attacks will be pretty much useless. Fire equals tank. So this element is what you go for when you want to have a lot of defense. This works very well with Earth, as Earth needs to get close to the enemies to be able to do damage. Air is the swiftness element. You will be very fast, actually so fast that you might get banned for hacking. And I just lied. But seriously though, you'll be very fast. Weapons that are of the air type tend to have weak neutral attacks, but they also fire slash hit at a much higher rate than other weapons. Like I said in the beginning, this video does not really go into detail, and I can't do that because this video would be so long if I did. That's why I'm going to release this video, explain the basics, and then release a video explaining weapons and armor, and then a video for each class explaining how to build your class. These are the guides I currently have planned, and there will be more of course in the future. And uh, by the way guys, if I've missed something, Please make sure to tell me in the comments, and I'll try to include it in a uh, future video. 
Thank you guys for watching. This was a basic guide for elements. I'm Mr. Sebelonian. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more gavel-related content. Peace out.